Let me share something with you. I'm specifically talking to my younger generation. Uh, those who may have not entered into college yet. Or those who may be thinking about college. I went to a college at HBCU. And I, mean, I am very proud of that because of my experience. Very proud of that. But let me tell you something. In the bigger scheme of things. It is better to go to a trade school than to a college. Unless you have to go to a college to college for a specific uh, degree to get a specific job, which usually is only dealing with like government and you know those type of jobs, lawyers, those type of jobs. Other than that, look into trade school because you're gonna find a guaranteed job after that, and you're gonna have a guaranteed skill that will feed you for the rest of your life. To the point that that skill can get you into business for yourself. A degree won't. Uh, um, unfortunately, a degree will not do that. That's why even for those who go into criminal justice and into law, you got to go and do a whole another eight, e eight years. This the, and this the part about it is that after your college, you still have to pay. But for trade school, a lot of trade schools because they put it into a way where. Um, you got to pay up front or you pay within this, within the time frame you're there. You're not really ending the school in, in debt. You're, you're, you're look, really looking at a free from debt and a, and a guaranteed job or enough skill to start your own business. This is how we got to start thinking. It's not enough people promoting trade school. It's not enough people promoting getting a skill that's going to feed you for the rest of your life. It's okay to have the knowledge. But you need to obtain skill. 85% of people who come out of college do not get the job that's based upon the degree they got. Why? Because the main thing they don't have is experience. See, that's what they're not telling you. More people are looking for experience than a, a damn paper that say you got a degree, which we probably didn't go to class half the time when we, we, we skimmed through it. Just straight up. We skimmed through it. So why waste your time? On something you're gonna have to literally work as hard as somebody who don't got that degree like you just to turn around and tell for them to tell you that you don't have enough skill nor experience to get this job and this is where a lot of uh, so-called African Americans black Americans are not realizing they're failing that and we're struggling to to get a, 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 a real a real uh, foot in the ground because we're depending on a piece of paper to get us the job that we're looking for when people are looking for skills and you're going to come to realize that you're going to have to get a job that's not even related to that degree just to start paying on loans that did not help you get a job for the paper that you just paid for we're paying fifty thousand dollars sixty thousand dollars forty thousand dollars for a piece of paper that's not guaranteeing you a future this is why this is one of the biggest reasons we in debt. This is one of the biggest reasons why we not we not uh making a real come up in this world. This is the big reason why black men and, 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 and uh, black women are struggling to find their place in this world because we're investing in things that's not going to benefit us in the future. Now again, a degree has its place in certain aspects, but overall, I guarantee if you ask 20 people with degrees, how many of them got a job in the field they got their degree in? I guarantee at least 18 out of 20 going to tell you they don't. They don't. They don't. And out of 18, I guarantee at least 12 going to tell you the reason they couldn't get out, out, out the gate from college is because they did not have enough, uh, enough experience. Enough experience. So I'm telling y'all this because we got to start making smart investments and putting our money that's going to really benefit us. College is cool. It has its place and, it, and you get experience, but it's not setting you up for a real future. The reason Caucasians and, and Asians can be set up like that in that same type of institution because the institution was made for them. And believe it or not, and it hurts me to say this, but even HBCUs are not set up in a way that's going to set up your future for the so-called black man and woman. It's not. I can say this boldly because I went to one. I went to one and I understood what was going on. Even when I went to Central State University, which is uh, which is in the southern part of Ohio, and we actually are probably the oldest school in Ohio. Yet they will fund Ohio State, they will fund Wright State. But when it came to Central State and Wilberforce, we always got the last end of the money. How is that when we've been around longer than anybody? Because these systems is not.
built or made up for the black man and woman. And unfortunately, even HBCUs, we're trying. We have our people in the system as far as helping teaching, as far as the administration. But as far as like the, the financial side and the political side, we we're not doing it. We're not getting it. Even now, they're building good things. But but is is it really being set up that we have jobs, that we have things to go to once we graduate? And the answer is no. That's when all I'm saying. I'm not discouraging you to, uh, to go to to not go to college. What I'm saying is look at the, the bigger picture. See the brighter side of what you're trying to do and then and then weigh the balances of what's more beneficial. A trade school where I may not have debt at all and I can guarantee me a, a job or at the least have the skill and experience enough to start my own business. Or do I want to pay 50000 be in the hole of debt and, and, and for sure not be guaranteed a job, not be guaranteed a position and have to literally find it out on my own. Which one makes more sense? You look at the so-called black man and woman. Biggest debt is colleges. It's colleges. Straight up, it's colleges. Because we cannot seem to, to, to scratch the surface because we in so much debt taking out all these loans and having these high APRs on it. And, it, and it's crazy. It's crazy. And no, nobody's teaching on this. Yet we're promoting go to the school, go to college, live the, the American dream, get out of college and you're going to have a job. You're going to raise a family with a white picket fence when none of that shit is happening. Your ass got to return right back into the same environment that you tried to leave for a better life because you were not set up correctly. Come on, man. Let's live, people. Again, I, I, I'm not telling you this to knock anybody because, again, I went to an HBCU. It's to enlighten. You know what I'm saying? Because I had a grand time. I'm talking about the people, the experience. You know, I did definitely learn some things. I did. So I, I can say I had the full college experience to the T. Good, bad, and ugly. I had the full experience. But if I would have known what I knew now as far as seeing into the future, as far as what a skill can get me, if I had to make that choice again, I definitely would have chose a trade school or I just would have um, went into a, I would have went into a field automatically after college that would benefit me for the future, like trucking or something. You know what I'm saying? Or like uh, mechanics or or um, electrician, masonry, things. So, again, this is to enlighten you to to really start making smart investments, make smart investments that's going to benefit you in the future uh generations to come and that's the mindset we gotta we gotta get into caucasians asians arabs and i've sat down with folks in, in these different other nations and they tell you these things they they always have been doing it and it's the crazy thing we taught them we taught them how to survive we taught them how to flourish and, and increase their nation you see, now that we taught them and then they flipped it on us and put us in this systematic oppression, now we're we're literally crabs in the barrel trying to figure it out. When we taught the world these things, not and the world turned its back against us. Now it's time that we take back what's rightfully ours. That's all I'm that's all I'm I'm kicking to you. You know what I'm saying? Take back what's yours, take back your knowledge, your understanding, your wisdom, take back your skills, take back how you how you how you set up your families for, for future wealth. Take back your family structure. Take back how you loved. We love one another. Take it all back because it is yours, because it's the most high who, who instilled it in us. And it's already here. We're just not digging deep enough. We, we going to too many outside sources rather than going within. It's all here. If you just sit still and listen, it's already there. It's already there. So. Let's get back to that, considering the cost, thinking with wisdom and making wise decisions that not just going to be beneficial to self, but for your children's children, children. We got to get back to that, especially you men.